light also form agricultural festival and the calendar. Perhaps yeah, we could understand that, you know, long time people look up in the sky and say it will rain, it wouldn't rain, or oh, the moon is going to change and so on, and they are guided by that. So the light has a function. So we move further then. Job chapter 25 verse 10. Let's see if we can find Job. 25 verse 25, Job 25, 10, let's see from this one, perhaps I made a mistake there, let's see why you put things on the computer, they don't always function as we want them to. So is Job chapter 38 verse 19. Job chapter 38 verse 19. Have you an inkling of the extent of the earth? Tell me about it if you have. This is God speaking to Job. Which is the way to the home of the light? And where does darkness live? You could then show me then the way to their proper places. So God is talking, do you know about light? Could you talk about light? Do you know anything? And of course Job does not have the, the answers. Just like us, we don't have the answers. Psalm 104 verses 19 to 23. Psalm 104. He made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun to know when to set. You bring on darkness and the night falls. When all the forest breeds roam, forest beasts roam about. So God knows what he is doing. Psalm 136 verse 7. Psalm 136 verse 7 he made the great lights for his faithful love endures forever he made the great lights because of his love God made light so when we think of light we think of almighty God we see why God created light how he created light and that light has a particular function a particular purpose we turn to God and say flourish our lives with light give us light all the time help us to appreciate Jesus Christ the true light of the world